The U.S. dollar was already coming under some pressure into the start to thinner holiday trade this past Friday and has continued to get sold overall across the board as trading conditions return to fuller form post the U.K. and U.S. Monday holidays. In fact, the U.S. dollar index is at an eight-day low, and we're hearing talk of month-end rebalancings that show strong U.S. dollar sell interest against all of the major currencies. The solid risk environment has contributed to the flow with U.S. stocks holding up near record highs on an expectation the Fed will continue to lean more towards investor-friendly accommodative policy. Monday's dovish Vieroy comments about the possibility for consecutive rate cuts from the ECB have been largely shrugged off, with the market more focused on a wider distribution of commentary out of the ECB that has leaned more towards the hawkish, or perhaps better said, less dovish side. Earlier today, some Japan producer prices came in hotter than expected, while Aussie retail sales came out on the softer side of forecast. But none of this had any major impact on these current Looking ahead, we get a batch of Fed speak along with U.S. Case Shiller, U.S. Consumer Confidence, Dallas Fed Manufacturing, and Canada Producer Prices. That's all for now.